Opening day, the beginning of a 162-plus game journey with the goal of playing into late October. As we celebrate the start of another season, we need to take a moment to remember a man who isn't with us today, but his spirit will be with the Dodgers every time they take the field. He wore number 36, and his name was Don Newcomb. Growing up in New Jersey, Don wasn't really into sports. Fortunately, a well-intentioned neighbor helped a teenage Newt transform from throwing rocks through windows to throwing baseballs past batters. His high school didn't have a baseball team, so Don dropped out during his junior year and began playing semi-pro ball with the Newark Eagles of the Negro Leagues. After watching him play in an exhibition game, the Dodgers signed Nuke and Roy Campanella to join Jackie Robinson in their quest to integrate Major League Baseball. They would all become civil rights pioneers. His accomplishments on the field were impressive. He won the National League Rookie of the Year in 1949 and the Cy Young and MVP in 1956. Of course, he was also a key member of the Dodgers' first World Series championship team of 1955. He was an imposing figure. Again, he was seemingly larger than everybody else. He had that unmistakable wind-up where his arms went this way and then they came that way and then he had the leg kick. You got the sense that no major league hitter was going to be comfortable in the batter's box facing Nuke, and few were. I'm sure I don't have to introduce one of the greatest Chicago Cubs of them all, Ernie Banks, and your old nemesis here, Don Newcomb, right, Ernie? Yes, it is, and Don uh, was awfully tough at Wrigley Field and at Ebbets Field. He's a very fine pitcher, and I remember a game we played at Wrigley Field, and Don pitched a low inside sinker. He hit me right on the knee there. And, uh, I, you can still remember that. Yeah, I can remember that, but he was a very uh, strong competitor, and I know that uh, all the players that Don has been associated with realize that uh, he was that type of pitcher. What about this guy Newcomb now, honestly? Was he really deserving of the Cy Young Award and Rookie of the Year and all those good things? I thought he was one of the best pitchers I've ever caught for control and as hard as he could throw. And believe it or not, he was my pinch hitter. He was a pretty good hitter. Talking about Newcomb's hitting, uh, one night we were playing in Chattanooga, Tennessee with the Roy Campanella All-Stars. He would hit one of the longest balls I've ever seen hit. A large presence on the field Nuke's impact on others off the field was a great source of pride. It began during the prime of his playing career when he missed two seasons with the Dodgers while serving in the Army during the Korean War. After baseball, Don had to come to terms with alcoholism. He achieved sobriety and would go on to help others who battled the disease. Former Dodgers Maury Wills and Bob Welch both would credit Nuke with saving their lives. We were real close friends. Don Newcomb helped to save my life. Love you. I'm not here because of myself, but because of you, and um, God bless you. Well known as the best dressed man in Dodger Stadium, Nuke would impact the lives of players for decades. Not seeing him during batting practice is going to take some getting used to. Don's means a lot to me. Definitely gonna be missed. Definitely gonna miss sitting with him every day before the game um, in Dodger Stadium. That was one thing I was looking for every day to come to the ballpark is to get to hang with him. You know, he's, he's, he's a Dodger legend. What him, Roy, and Jackie went through, you know, for us here to play this game, you know, wearing this uniform, definitely Don's gonna be missed. You were a second father to me. You were a mentor, and a sounding board, a support. You were everything to me. And um, what you did for baseball, what you did for the Dodgers, your support, your insight, the storytelling about Jackie and things like that is things that I'll cherish forever. In 1968, Don hosted a dinner for Dr. Martin Luther King at his home here in Los Angeles. Dr. King told him, Don, you'll never know how easy you, Jackie, Larry, and Campy made it for me to do my job by what you did on the baseball field. 42 years later, President Barack Obama referred to Newcomb as someone who helped America become what it is, adding, I would not be here if it were not for Jackie and if it were not for Don Newcomb. Baseball is much more than a game. Don Newcomb was much more than a player. This season, number 36 will be worn with pride.